chill segment ever. Just like the weather outside. Let's get into it. Congratulations to senior Addie McMillan on winning the Distinguished Young Woman of Hamilton County Scholarship. She will go on to compete to the state winner in late February. Congratulations and good luck. Are you interested in skiing or snowboarding? If so, scan this QR code to join the ski club. The first trip is scheduled for February 2nd. Contact Mr. Valmasoy or Mr. Doring at their school email with any questions. Check out our new Around the County episode that just launched. This episode highlights one of the Noble Soul's best traditions, the holiday parade, and introduces us to an inspiring singer here at NHS. You can find this new episode on our YouTube channel at NHS News or MillerMediaNow.org. Attention all conspiracy theorists. A new house bill has been proposed that will enable airplane pilots to report UFO sightings to the Federal Aviation Administration. And it isn't just the pilots. Air traffic controllers, flight attendants, maintenance workers, and other airplane workers are all allowed to report their otherworldly findings. I'm going to keep my tinfoil hat closed. Bye from now on. Now, let's get abducted into meetings. There will be a science team meeting being held on January 19th. If you would like to attend, please make any hall pass with Skyly Schaefer. The next Star Club meeting is Wednesday, January 17th at 2.45 during AL. They will be meeting in the area in front of student services and the nurse's office. Please send Mr. Meyer an e-hall pass request to attend. That's all for this segment of news. We'll see you in sports. What's up, Millers? Welcome back to Finance Friday. This week, we got no news for you. And with that aside, introducing the jolly Jack Fisher. <laughs> My name is Jack Fisher. Uh, I am a brass player in the uh, Noblesville Band program. I uh, am the lead trumpet in Jazz 2. I play uh, French horn in concert band. And I, uh, you know, I, that's all I do. I originally wanted to do band because my brother Hayden, um, he picked up the trumpet and uh, I just remember him in sixth grade learning um, how to play and I remember him coming home and always being excited to practice his scales and everything and I was like, wow, I really want to do that. And uh, so here I am, um, I, uh, I picked up the trumpet after him and uh, I don't practice. I think the best part of the band program and everything is is really the people that you get to connect with um, and um, just the the people that you get a you get to talk to and meet and be friends with is just I mean I'll, I'll remember it for the rest of my life um, another reason is um, performing like performing is a big thing that I am thankful for and um, it's it's amazing uh, I just get to be in the moment and not think about really anything else besides, you know, what I'm playing. So uh, after high school, um, with a monkey wrench just recently tossed in, um, originally I was planning on going to do um, online school and I was going to uh, uh, do an apprenticeship with Pages Music, um, and I was going to uh, apprentice to be a uh, band instrument repair technician. So I'll be uh, basically on the front lines fixing and repairing band instruments like uh, like brass instruments and woodwind instruments and stuff like that. Man, that was delicious. Catch you next week, Millers. Peace out. show. Let's get right into it. Congrats to the boys wrestling team for coming in second at the Mike Findley Hall of Fame Classic last Saturday. Special shout out to the four undefeated Millers, Caleb Lehman, Austin Hastings, Josh Koslick, and Carter Richardson. Keep it up Millers. 
This past Tuesday, the Noblesville girls basketball team won against Mount Vernon 58-34. Shout out to Meredith Tibner for scoring her 1,000th point. She's 11th in Noblesville girls basketball history. And a huge congratulations to senior Regan Wilson for being nominated for the 2024 McDonald's All-American Games. Wilson is one of the 10 girls from the Midwest to be nominated. To cap off the final week of the NFL regular season and the college football playoff, the coaching changes are in full swing. Mike Vrabel, Bill Belichick, Pete Carroll, Arthur Smith, and Ron Rivera all lost their head coaching jobs at the end of the season. And Nick Saban retired ending a great career. Needless to say, the offseason is going to be a very entertaining. There will be a call-out meeting for the rugby team on January 23rd. If you would like to attend, head to the NHS cafeteria at 7 p.m. For any questions, contact Noblesville Rugby Club at gmail.com. The boys' golf team will be having a call-out meeting on Monday, January 15th at 2 p.m. It will be held at Fox Prairie Golf Course. For more information, contact Coach DeKen for prior to the meeting. The weekend is right around the corner. That's right, and make sure to follow our Instagram page and subscribe to NHS News. Peace.